Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is a video about the greenhouse which I'm just about to clean and tidy up because I have a guest coming tomorrow and I want to well make the best impression so I'm gonna to have to do a lot of sweeping and tidying of these plants and I do have some pests for example this Pelagonium, which is really looking quite magnificent, does have mealy, so I'm going to have to use a spray on that. And I do have some hard scale, which I'm going to use soap and water to get rid of. So <laughs> it's just me on my own. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to video, but we'll at least do a before and after. Okay, well, it's several hours later and the place is still undergoing its tidy up. I have done the top of the shelves here, so watered, tidied up, brushed and rearranged basically everything here on the top shelf and I think it's looking quite pretty. Evening light, of course, is very, very attractive for any filming. It's hard for me to move up here because I still have a whole load of pots on the floor. There's that pelagonium we saw and it's had a spray and a tidy up. Uh, still looking absolutely magnificent. Um, down below we have the Agapanthus queen mum that I recently bought and it's just beginning to open and we can just see the blue there blue and white so I'm really looking forward to that I have a Hoya in flower here we go and Trevisia has had a descaling <laughs> Pelagonium's a good tidy up and they really do need lots of tidying up. This Agapanthus variegated ag Agapanthus looks fantastic when it's not in flower because of the leaf but as you can see up there I do have flowers coming and if we move further up the staging here past Echeveria Compton's carousel which is looking amazing and Geranium Madarensa, which I bought recently when I was in Cork, we can see another specimen of this variegated Agapanthus, and it's in flower. There we go. So, down here, I guess not so much happening. Ooh, do you hear me tripping over things as we move up? But Jacobinia having a second flush, which is good news. And this very tall begonia, which I've moved out. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But what we also have is a great big mess on the floor here. And um, this is the drug I'm using to correct, collect all the rubbish I want to tell you about this. Hymanthus natalensa. I have a flower coming. Not just one. At least three. And I think there's something else around there too. So I'm really looking forward to that because this one hasn't flowered for several years. Delighted. And wait till you see what I have over in the corner here. Still a lot of tidying up to do here as you can see. And up here past the Amorphophallus, which is looking good, into the corner, and past the Tibicina, which is looking great. I need to just sort this area around out a bit better, but in the very corner here we have Amaryllis in flower. There we go. Now, I, when I lift this out, I'm going to lift this out and put it in a more prominent place because it's actually in flower and you'll see it better now. But, um, well, that was a surprise. This other one isn't in flower, but um, yeah, we'll give it a chance. And um, orchids looking yellow. <laughs> That's okay, Cattleyas can be yellow. 
and a quick pan back here and I really better get on with it because the sun is setting and I'm hungry for my dinner and I've still a whole lot to do so I think this video will wait for tomorrow for its finale. And good morning everyone. I finished cleaning the greenhouse last night but it was getting dark by that stage so I couldn't finish the end of my video so we've come out here this morning and a rainy morning it is too and we're going to look at what I did and now I'm just going to stand back and have a look up this side That's where the orchids are, the cattleyas, and then down the display shelving. And I'm really quite happy with the final result. So I did a little bit of de mealy bugging and descaling while I was at it and also repotted a few plants like this Sparmania here which was struggling in a spot that was too small for it and it really is going to take off now that it's been taken out and we just have a little display here at the front Jatropha is looking particularly good at the moment it's really darkened up with the lot of sunshine we've had we've really had drought sunny conditions here up until now when the rain has come down and although each set of leaves does hang down a bit I don't think it's doing the plant any harm I love the spininess of the new growth but they're soft spines love the shape of those leaves Someone recently asked me about this agave and it's doing fantastically at the moment. I think it just really, really likes this sunny summer we're having. Looking really good. And, oh yes, I must show you this. Look at this. Okay, this is one of my South African proteas. And I think, touch wood, but I think it might be going to flower. I think this is a leucanthemum. Let's have a look at the label down here. <clears throat> Leucodendron, discolor. So, can't wait for that. <laughs> that was a really exciting find. Okay, let's have a, a look up the shelving and I'll show you what's interesting at the moment that we didn't cover already last night. And having a look that's that panda plant I bought in Spain at the Mar at the succulent garden we have an agave that's really really quite white it's a variegated one obviously and it's really favoring the cream now I think there's still enough green in there because of course any plant that goes completely white or completely yellow is going to die because it needs the chlorophyll and the green to survive but I think this one is still okay. Yeah, Compton's Carousel looking gorgeous. Begonia, yellow begonia at the back here. And this here was a surprise too. Now this is a bulb I picked up in Portugal earlier on this year. And I had no expectation for when it was going to flower. And just discovered that. It was sending up a spike now. Hymanthus coccinia, very slow. I really do love that agave attenuata, the way it's in such a small pot, it looks great. And a an variegated pelagonium. Not sure which one this is, but I tend to, in the display um, 
vary it between variegated and non-variegated just to make it look nice. Here we have a Sanchez I was given which is a giant Canary Island dandelion. And the Aeoniums all had a good clean up removing the dead leaves from around the necks and just, you know, tidied up. My begonias are looking good and this silver leafed one is looking particularly well. <coughs> Splendour. This one is begonia palmatum. It's just a house plant. <laughs> this one is called curvy wavy or something like that. This one here, begonia wavy, wavy green. This is the one that has number and no name, the one recently discovered that looks a bit like sycamensis. And at the back we just have a fern that is very good for a shady spot in a greenhouse. Last night I discovered that my amaryllis was in bloom, just very much the last thing I discovered before it got too dark to film and I couldn't lift it out because it's in a very big pot but it's out now and isn't it fantastic? Now when I say amaryllis I mean amaryllis, this isn't a hippie astrum, it's not the plant that you buy at Christmas and have in flower over Christmas, it's an amaryllis and it flowers at this time of year and it's in a very large pot as you can see down there so I'm pleased to see that coming flanked by Sanchez Fruticosus another of those giant Madeiran or Canary Island dandelions Alocasia Macariza I think which I grew from a berry and this is looking particularly good at the moment. I have it sitting in water because it really is a, a water loving plant. Here to the right we have a Eucumus and I was queried about Eucumus recently. This one is a hybrid called Sparkling Bur Burgundy I think and for some people it goes blacker but this one isn't as black as I'd like it to be. Now I have no sign of flowers yet but it's such a sunny summer, I do feel confident that they will come in the end. And beside it we have Begonia Sutherlandii, which is a wonderful hanging begonia, usually for a shady position. And I've just kind of moved it to the front here today to show off to my guest who's coming. I have it slightly shaded by the Sanchez there, so fingers crossed. And moving up to the top of the greenhouse, we have a uh, Tibuccina in flower, looking particularly good. And what else do we have beside it? We have my Amorphophallus. This is the pot where I put the small bulbs. This one, the trunk there is doing particularly well. And over here, we have the one that flowered earlier on this year and it's just coming into leaf as you can see so it always takes a while after flowering to get its act together which means it doesn't get enough light and growing before it's winter again to flower the following year so hopefully next year this one over here is going to flower and we can take it in relays like that fine trunk on it behind we have that Musella, um, yellow Chinese banana I believe, and behind it Begonia luxurians, which, well, it's doing okay. Okay, and I suppose I had better leave the greenhouse now and do some tending in the garden before my guest arrives. And just giving you a final pan of the greenhouse staging of the top bit which is the one that is 
supposed to look good and I think it looks really rather good. Thank you.